The Edelman Trust Barometer found that media has become the least trusted global institution for the first time, and one of the biggest concerns is fake news. Seven in ten people and the respondents in the survey say the wor they worry about fake news and that false information could be used as a weapon, which we saw in mm -hmm. the presidential election. Fifty-nine percent say it's getting harder to tell if a piece of news was produced by a respected media organization. The research shows fully half of the respondents, and you mentioned this, Stephen, indicate they consume mainstream media less than once a week, so mm -hmm. they're becoming disengaged. Mm -hmm. Regina, does any of this surprise you? <laughs> well, um, it's distressing, that's for sure. It's not necessarily surprising because we've seen the indications in other survey research as well. Um, as I mentioned, uh, media trust has been in decline for some time, but of course it's accelerated since the last election, and in part a reaction to concerns about so-called fake news. Of course, we have to point out that there are more, there's more than one variety of fake news. That term has a couple of meanings, and so what people are reacting to perhaps in these surveys, for some people, uh, fake news is misinformation, disinformation, Russian meddling, etc. For other people, fake news really means the mainstream media, and of course our president has led that charge, accusing mainstream media of peddling fake news. So it's become quite complicated. Mm. And we're seeing that people are defining media, including social media platforms. And we have another graphic to show that 65% of respondents consume their news through platforms, people grouping here the platforms in with the media. But when you break it out, you can see that journalism actually gained some trust, five mm -hmm. points, and the platforms went down two points. Stephen, what's the significance of that? I, I think this is really significant. And it's, it's an important finding for this year's survey because for the first time, what it's indicating, you can see from the graphic here, that broad Broadly, um, trust has moved up and down, broadly in about the sort of the same level between journalism and online media and search. And here we're seeing this bifurcation. In fact, um, in the US side, that, that split is even greater. We've seen an, a, a minus 11 point drop in trust in, in platforms and social media search um, here in the United States. And so what this is telling us is that people are beginning to understand a difference between mainstream journalism and the news that they're receiving through platforms. Um, and still, 65% of people today get, majority, get their news from platforms, so it's not that they're stopping to use Even it. Even though they don't trust it, they Even still get Even though they don't trust it, way. this is how they're consuming their news. And so, you know, I, I think that um, this is maybe the start of, um, I don't know, an education and awareness amongst people, the public at large, about the difference um, uh, between sources. Um, and, you know, we've seen some of that play out in the last few weeks. Um, now, this uh, survey was done, I think, before the Facebook scandal Correct. with uh, the C Cambridge Analytica. Do you think that would have made a difference in the survey in the United States? I I'm sure it would have led to a difference in the survey, though we should note we've already seen that drop. So there's already a distrust level starting to set in with platforms. And you know, um, amongst, um, you know, amongst industries, amongst, amongst platforms, the, the social media has, is now the least trusted amongst all of the, uh, the media outlets that sort of look there. One of the interesting statistics we've also seen sort of this year is, is that trust in a person like myself um, in uh, giving me information is still relatively high. If, you know, if I get information from a family or friend, about 68% of people say, I fundamentally trust that. But when the same information comes across a platform, that reduces to 44%. So just the way in which m information is being conveyed today um, seems to make a difference in whether or not that, that information is credible.